Breast cancer is still one of the most common diseases among women in our country, but thanks to early detection and advanced procedures, millions of women are surviving and thriving. Today, we're going to learn about breast conservation surgery offered at Jandali Plastic Surgery. Joining me now is Dr. Sharif Jandali, a plastic and reconstructive surgeon, Dr. Andrew Kendler, a breast surgeon, and Jacqueline Conlon, a patient who underwent a lumpectomy and oncoplastic reconstruction. Thank you all for being here. Thank Thanks you. Uh, Jackie, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about your story, what happened. Well, I was taking a shower and I found a lump in my right breast and like a lot of women uh, said, oh no, that can't possibly be me and let it go for a day and then realized, no, this is something. I went and saw my um, gynecologist who sent me for a mammogram and an ultrasound and they immediately sent me to Dr. Kenler. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Kenler was terrific. He saw me within 48 hours. Um, he was very clear with me um, when, after he did the examination and after he did the biopsy, he took uh, me and my husband into his office and said, I'm not going to pull any punches with you. I do believe that this is probably breast cancer. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. And in most cases, he's not wrong with this. Um, about four days later, he called me on my cell and told me that indeed it was breast cancer. And then what happened from there? Uh, what happened from there was um, they, he was very understanding. I'm a trial lawyer and I had a trial that I had to finish before I could have surgery. Get life a little bit, right? And he was very good about me doing that, but I finished the trial on a Friday and on Tuesday I went in and had the surgery. In the meantime, I had met with Dr. Kenler and Dr. Jandali, and they talked to me about uncle breast reconstruction. Mm -hmm. They thought I was a good candidate for it. Um, it's different than the traditional lumpectomy mm -hmm. um, in that they went in, the way it was described to me, they, they went in, removed the breast cancer, got clear margins, mm -hmm. and um, once that was done, and that was Dr. Kenler's part, um, Dr. Jandali came in and he reconstructed both, both breasts, so I had one surgery. I didn't have to go back oh, wow. and have the reconstruction, reconstruction afterwards. afterwards. So I was out of commission for two and a half weeks as opposed to two and a half weeks, then let's see and put in stretchers, sure. then let's see and go back and have another surgery. For me, it was also good because it helped me helped me understand and manage it a little bit better. It was, it was I had the surgery and then I went to the medical oncologist, and it, it seemed to me that it got me to the medical oncologist sooner. Sure. Um, I had chemo. Mm -hmm. I had 20 weeks of chemo, um, and then I had radiation afterwards. But the start of my journey, for lack of a better word, um, with Dr. Kenler and Dr. Uh, Jandali, really, I knew I was in good hands, and I knew I was going to be okay. Sure. And that's what you want to know when you're right. going through something like this. Um, and Dr. Kendler, tell us, we heard Jackie's story, but how do you diagnose breast cancer? Right, well, thank you again for having us. Uh, Jackie's story is, is uh, a good one. And, uh, but thankfully, most breast cancers nowadays are found by mammography or sonography. Jackie's mm -hmm. was a little bigger, so she actually found the lump herself, as mm -hmm. she described. Either way, although most cancers are found by screening, mammogram, or ultrasound, once a mass is identified like Jackie explained, then a surgeon like myself with just Novocaine will place a needle in the mass to confirm the diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And once the diagnosis is made, there's really a bifurcation. A woman can either have a mastectomy removal of the whole breast, typically with reconstruction, or opt to have what we call breast conservation therapy, in quotations, which is what Jacqueline had, mm -hmm. but with the wrinkle of using oncoplastic techniques, which Dr. Jandali is going to describe in a minute, that really prevents some of the un unfavorable cosmetic sequelae of traditional lumpectomy, which quite frankly is what most surgeons still do to this day. And it's kind of a little bit of the, the dirty little secret of breast conservation. Here we are trying to preserve a woman's breast mound, breast body image, et cetera, as you mm -hmm. describe, and yet the sequelae of the lumpectomy, the removal of the cancer and subsequent radiation doesn't always achieve that goal. Sure. And uh, Dr. Jindali, let's bring you into the uh, conversation here. What exactly is the oncoplastic uh, surgery? So if you think of the word oncoplastic, it's really a, a breakdown of two words, onco, which means cancer, and plastic, which means reconstruction. But it's really come to mean, after a lumpectomy or partial mastectomy, 
that area that's taken out, if you don't fill it in, it can really leave a defect in the breast, as Dr. Kenler was saying. It can leave a hollow, it can leave an indentation, it can pull the nipple in one direction. So the reason behind it is to use techniques that plastic surgeons know from breast lift surgery, breast reduction surgery, rotate some of the breast tissue that you already have there to fill in that hole mm -hmm. and give you a good shape to the breast. At the same time, we do it a little bit different than other areas of the country. We do the same thing to the opposite breast because our philosophy is symmetry of the breast is important. That's the beauty in the breast is that they're most symmetric. Sure. So, Who would be a candidate for this or is it, does it depend on each case? Uh, most women are candidates. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have extremely small breasts, A cup breasts, then you're likely more going to need a mastectomy because you don't have enough of your own breast mm -hmm. tissue to move around. But if you have large B cup breasts or larger, if they've come down a little bit with time, if they're very large, mm -hmm. you pretty much are getting a breast lift or a breast reduction at the same time. Makes sense. And Jackie, we have to ask you, how are you feeling today? I feel terrific. I feel absolutely wonderful. Very good. And doctors, where do you, where do you work? Where do you perform your surgeries? We, uh, we work at Bridgeport Hospital, part of Yale New Haven Health System, and uh, we're also part of Norma Freem Breast Cancer Center, which is uh, part of Smilo. Very good. And you're both in Trumbull, your offices? Yes, yes. And we're in Trumbull. Very good. Well, let's put the information up on the screen. Jandali Plastic Surgery is located in Trumbull, as we mentioned. You can contact Dr. Jandali's office at 203-374-0310 or call Dr. Kendler's office at 203-373-9015. should mention, you guys all look great in pink for Breast Cancer Awareness <laughs> Month. Yes. Thank, thank you. you all for being here. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you.